Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Chris's Kitchen Adventures. I'm Chris, I work at Lullaby Lane Nursery in Mulgai and we thought it would be a good idea to keep connected as a team and also as a family that we do a little activity once a week bringing nursery into your homes. I'm missing you all very much and hopefully it's not too long until we're back together but in the meantime I thought it would be a really good idea if we do a little activity that you can do with your mums and dads um, and I thought to kick start us off we will go for a simple activity that's lots of fun and um, you can get messy and creative and also um, have a really really good time doing this um, and if you can't see already we are going to do some play-doh making um, for this you will need your flower Water, if you want to go for some food colouring. A bit more interesting and fun, you can. Um, and I've got a little whisk here just to help as well. This is just what we would do doing nursery, um, so you probably already know how we do it and what we do, but um, I thought we'd just talk you through it and see where we go from there. Okay, so it usually tells you to measure out. Um, but I'm just going to stick some flour into the pan. Oh, that might be should be enough. I was just gonna go with it rather than measuring it out, and then a little bit of water, and then get your whisk or your beater. This is just a great activity that is very simple, very quick, very easy. Um, you can buy these things in the in the shops quite cheaply, um, and it only takes five or ten minutes to make, which is great. So once you get your mix and your water, just mixing that around. I always just keep adding some flour until you get that really nice play-doh feel. And if you have brothers or sisters or mummies and daddies you can pass over the bowl if you want them to get involved and get to help them um, whisking. Again this is a really really good activity that you can do as a family. Um, it's always fun and if you don't mind getting your kitchen in a mess always funny. This is starting to look good. I think I'm just going to add a wee bit more flour and then some water. Again, you probably should have measured this up at the start but I like to just go with it and um, I think it's more fun. That should be enough. You don't want it to be too wet which um, is why you just Keep adding a little bit of flour and then you can start using your hands if you want just to kind of mould it together. I think I'm just going to do that. Again just like we would be doing at nursery. I think I'm going to use my hand now. Just get in a bit. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. Some folk use salt, you can use salt as well. Um, I think that may make it last longer. Um, so if you have salt, you can add a little bit of salt and not too much salt though. I think maybe a tablespoon of salt. Uh, I'm not going to bother with salt today. But you can start to see that it's coming together very nicely. And then if you would like to make it a little bit more fun, you can add some food colouring. Different. We have red food colouring here today, so we're going to go with red. I'm going to empty some of this out on the table so you can see. Usually, I just get it on the table and then kind of gather the flour up. And it hopefully takes the stickiness away. I think I need a little bit more flour. This is something we're going to hopefully continue to do every week. Um, I think it's a really good idea, as I said before, just to stay connected as a family, a team and a nursery. 
because um, we're really missing out on lots of fun, understand that. It's starting to look good. Look at the back of here and add the foot covering. Oh, lovely, looks messy. Yeah, so maybe one activity a week. Um, simple activities that you can do in the house during lockdown. It won't be anything too hard. I'll try and keep it simple. But it's just nice to come together and have some fun as a family. I know it can be hard sometimes if you're struggling with things to do. I might need some more food covering on yours, but it's starting to come along nicely. A wee bit more food covering. I'm going to put some more flour out on the table. Finish with the water so I don't need that anymore. What do you think? It's starting to look good, isn't it? There we go. I'm just going to put some flour out on the table. If you're at home and you have any shape cutters, then you can use them. You can make different shapes. Um, you can get them in the shops. You can get the plastic ones. You can start making love hearts, or you can get animal ones to make dinosaurs. We don't have any in the house, but I know we would usually use that in nursery. But I think we have Play-Doh. And if there is maybe two or three of you doing this together. Just break some off. You can just put it in, you can pass it along. So everybody can have some fun and feel involved. This is me almost done. But I will be back next week with another activity. I will send out a video um, so you guys know what we're going to be doing before we post these videos on our YouTube channel. But there we go. Hello. So thank you for joining me for the very first episode. I hope you had a lot of fun. I definitely had lots of fun. And it makes me miss nursery even more. Please tune in and um, look for the next video that we'll be going ahead next week with a different activity. But until then, stay safe. Have a really nice week. And I'll see you all again next week. Okay? Bye.